peace and welcome. Today we have oddly familiar Sonic the Hedgehog themes. We have 10 different Sonic games with some samples and some inspirations, so I think it's a good mix. Anyway, here's episode 79. Up first comes from the Japanese and European versions of the boss theme on Sonic CD. And there's a drum sample that comes from Zero G, Data File Disc 2, Drum Loop 3. Composed by Naofumi Hataya, this is one of my favorite themes on the original soundtrack. I like how it all blends together. We already covered the Work That Sucker to Death sample in a previous episode, but this track is just full of them, and I'm sure we'll stumble across even more. I recently obtained many Zero-G sample libraries, and I was lucky this drum loop was among them. It was also on a track that went unused in the final version of the game. So in a way, so far this is a triple whammy, and all three rate a 10 out of 10 on the oddly scale, as they are all samples. <laughs> Our next up is an odd one and a reverse oddly entry to boot. From the game Jump Boy, the only background music you hear throughout the entire game. So, this is an obvious one. Here's Sonic 2, Chemical Plant Zone. In my opinion, I think this one was replayed. There's minor differences and the tempo is slightly off. The game Jump Boy came pre-installed on some Samsung phones back in the day. These days you can find it to download, but it's nothing special. The original Sonic theme was composed by Masato Nakamura. While Jump Boy has no credits, but can you really blame him? I wouldn't want my name connected to that mess either. Also, quick shout out to Quantum X for bringing this one to my attention. On the oddly scale, we have this one a 9 out of 10. It's a blatant ripoff, and I usually avoid the term ripoff, but in this case, what else can you say? This next entry is Sega Sampling Sega from Sonic Generations, a theme titled Super Sonic Racing Generations Mix. Introducing Sega Saturn. And there's at least three instances of vocal samples in that theme that come from the Sega Saturn infomercial. Introducing Sega Saturn. Aww. Hit it. Sega's next this 2011 Sonic game was released for multiple consoles, and the soundtrack was composed by Jun Senoue. He's a regular in the Sonic franchise, and he has worked on at least 30 Sonic games, so you'll probably hear his name again. This is an interesting sample because it's from a Sega source and used on a Sega game. The only real question here is, was June asked to sample it, or did he do that on his own? On the oddly scale, of course, 10 is safe for samples, so 10 out of 10 it is. Introducing Sega Saturn. Introducing Sega Saturn. Aww. Hit it. We are five years away from entering the 21st century. Lucky number seven comes from Sonic R, the theme titled, Work It Out. And that sure sounds like the Nightcrawler song, Push the Feeling On. They're alive again, they're 
It's not a sample like many other entries on the list, but Sonic seems to take inspiration from the dance song. Push the Feeling On is quite a popular song. The music video has over 34 million views just since 2015. It was released in 1992, so you can imagine how many times this song has been played throughout the years. Sonic R was composed by Richard Jacques, another name that is familiar to the Sonic community. The game was released in 1997, about five years after the song. Reviews have Sonic R anywhere from a 5.6 out of 10 to an 8 out of 10. Personally, I would put it probably around a 7 to a 7.5. On the oddly scale, pretty much the same thing. We have it a 7 out of 10. It's pretty close, and it's easily recognizable if you're familiar with Nightcrawlers. Next up is from Sonic Rush, a theme titled Right There, Right On. And here is a sample from Universal Studios' Network Sound Effects. I don't believe it. Right there, on the street, in the middle of the night. So I'm sure a lot of people saw this one coming. Where we talk samples, Hideki Naganuma is bound to show up. He's well known for using many samples in basically every track he produces. However, you may not know that he sticks to sample libraries and he doesn't sample directly from the source. He has stated before that Sega supplies him with sample libraries, and then he gets to work. This one is just a simple vocal sample that was sped up and repeated. And of course, samples get a 10 out of 10 on the oddly scale. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Our fifth entry today comes from Sonic 06 and the Town Mission 4 theme. That sure sounds an awfully lot like Mega Man 2's Flash Man theme. Submitted by Persona user Mike, he stated AVGN mentioned it in his Sonic 06 episode. So I went to the Cinemassacre page to watch the episode and found it. The nerd didn't say what the theme was called, so then I went to the Discord to ask the name. And leave it to Turret, our local Sonic music expert to come through. And the funny part, while waiting for an answer, Scotty the Great One left a comment and said how it sounds like Flashman. So it's not just the nerd, but user Mike, Scotty the Great One, and myself all notice it too. On the oddly scale, we have it a 6 out of 10. It's just a small portion and not the whole theme. Unlucky number 4 comes from Sonic the Hedgehog 3, Carnival Night Zone 1. And that intro sounds a little bit like Thomas the Tank's theme song. Submitted by Quantum X, you can hear it right off the bat. Both of the intros have the same little vibe. On the oddly scale, we have it a 5 out of 10. It almost reminds me of an old nursery rhyme. Maybe it's a popular melody to use. Sonic 3 was released in 1994 and Thomas the Tank debuted in 1984. It last aired in 2021, so it had a long, healthy run on television. To put that into perspective, there's 584 episodes of Thomas the Tank, 79 episodes of the original Star Trek, and 750 episodes of The Simpsons. It kind of just gives you an idea of how many episodes there really are.
Up next is from Sonic Adventure, a theme titled Red Hot Skull. And mixed in there is a sample from Supercat, Ghetto Red Hot, the hip hop remix. Now special dedication to all dogs of dogs, dedicated to all top dogs, Liberty Crew. Man called Tony Kennedy, man called Robert and Wilder Patrick. On this one, even the name is oddly familiar. Sonic is titled Red Hot Skull, while Supercat is titled Ghetto Red Hot. And this is why I tend to believe Hideki Naganuma when he said Sega sent out sample libraries to the composers. This one is again by Junsei no Ue, and I think he would avoid calling the theme something so similar if it used an unauthorized sample. That just makes it way too easy to trace back to the original source. However, how would he know the term Red Hot when it's not a vocal sample that said it? Unless the sample library named it Red Hot? I don't know, there's too many questions on this one. But it's still a 10 out of 10 on the oddly scale. Now special dedication to all dogs of dogs, dedicated to all top dogs, with the crew. Man called Tony Kennedy, man called Robert and Wilder. Up next is from Sonic Mania, the final boss theme titled Ruby Illusions. And that comes from the Apollo 11 space launch. Four, three, two, one, zero, all engine One good thing about our Discord, our members work together. I heard this sample, asked for some help narrowing down which Sonic theme used it, and within 10 minutes, it was solved. So first of all, another shout out to Turret 3471. That saved me from going through 45 different themes for the second time in this episode. The Sonic Mania soundtrack is a little bit long. The Apollo 11 launch took place on July 16th, 1969, and the commentary is by Jack King. On his Wikipedia page, it says he's best known for the announcement of Apollo 11 which earned him the nickname, The Voice of Apollo. The Sonic Mania soundtrack was composed by T. Lopez, and it was released in 2017, making it the newest game on our list today. Our last entry today comes from Sonic Heroes, the Mystic Mansion theme. That comes from the Zero-G sample library titled Transformation, Trance Sequence 1. So this sample may make a return appearance. I'm pretty sure I recognize it from other games as well. In the Sonic theme, you can hear it within the first few seconds. It's not disguised, sped up, slowed down, or anything at all. The soundtrack was composed by seven different people, a few of them you will recognize from today's episode. And this entry confirms what Hideki said. Sega sent sample libraries to their composers. This library uses sounds that were recorded specifically for the sample library. These sounds were not borrowed from pop songs like some other sample libraries do. So there you have today's episode. I like the fact that we managed to find 10 different Sonic games to keep it fresh and not repetitive. Last, but never least, huge shout out to all Gold Level patrons, Bearsona, Quantum X, MJJ, and brand new Golden Tier patron, Sloperi Johnson. It's very much appreciated. I am ICC, thanks for watching, peace. <laughs>